Great movie that I heard about and someone has tickets too. She got the tickets, we're here. And I said, okay, let's go. Staying sober the first time in his life. Ron just celebrated 41 years of sobriety yesterday. And she found her way to recovery. And I love you so much. Jimmy, how long are you clean and sober? 50 years, and what about you? 24. 24 and 50. My name is Jason Tunick. I'm owner of Comprehensive Wellness Centers located in Lantana, Florida. Very early on when I first bought the business, I brought Gary Kay on as someone that would work the 12 steps and not even, it was very abnormal in the treatment center world to you know, be so focused on the 12 steps because you know, a lot of people did that outside of treatment centers and we brought it in house. And so that allowed our clients to actually work with one of the best in the business in that area and um, people have had amazing success. A lot of them are here tonight and so I'm excited when I'm running into them and going I'm two years clean, I'm three years clean, I'm four years clean and it's a lot of it has to do with Gary Kay. This is Jack and Jay Henserling and they are the parents of Jared Henserling who also appeared in the film and we also lost Jared to the chronic progressive brain disease of addiction and he was a great kid. He was 19 when he passed. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the Florida premiere of this powerful new recovery documentary, Gary Kay, One Step at a Time. Very excited. So we also just want to thank you for coming because you're also supporting Club Oasis. Our ability to connect, I think, is, is unique and evidently we have this high level of commitment to connecting or else we wouldn't be at an event like this that's centered on that idea. And now I'm proud to present Gary Kay. I started drinking when I was about 12. When I was 16, I was in an automobile wreck and killed people. And I decided that the day I graduated high school, I would leave and go to New York. And the Broadway Limited Amtrak stopped through my hometown outside of Akron. And I had a cardboard suitcase with jeans, a white shirt, a blue blazer, a carton of Camel non-filters, and a bottle of teacher scotch. And off I went to New York City. Doctors, lawyers, my wife, friends, none of them could help me. Suddenly I realized what I needed was to talk to another drunk who needed me as much as I needed him. That one. This one? No way, that's, that's yeah. scary. Let me yeah, I'll move it over here. the other side. Wait. It's crazy how far you came. It is. It's crazy how far you've come. It is. Everybody in this room. Nothing makes the human heart sing a sweeter song than helping other people who suffer. And uh, my whole life is about helping addicts. I've devoted my life to that. My name is Gary Kay, and I am a grateful, recovering alcoholic and drug addict. Gary Kay. I was addicted to alcohol, marijuana, 
opium, hash, morphine, ketamine, Percocet, Percodin, Vicodin, Restoril, LSD, Quaaludes, Black Beauties, Whippets, Whip it good. <laughs> Amyl nitrate, Ivy crack, Ivy heroin, all of it. My last night out, I woke up in a park in Forest Hills, Queens. I had a broken sternum, four broken ribs, a broken jaw, stab wounds. My scalp had been sliced. My nose had been cut. They stuffed my mouth with crack pipes, beat me in the face with a baseball bat. Before leaving me for dead, they defecated on me from head to toe. That's where this disease took me, from a wonderful family in Akron, Ohio, from the Broadway stage, from touring the world as an actor, to eating out of garbage cans. Completely bankrupt. Committing armed robbery, breaking into houses, mugging people, and then being beaten and left for dead. And by the grace of God, that didn't happen. At one point, I was unconscious for a very long time, and I regained consciousness, strapped down to a gurney in a psych ward in a facility in New Jersey, and I knew that I hit my bottom because I was in New Jersey. <laughs> well, one of the reasons we're making this film tonight, we're booking this film and my talk, my story, and a talk about the brain disease and how the spiritual solution changes how the brain functions. And we're booking a tour of that around the United States is one of the reasons we're making this film tonight to get that word out there, to offer solution to the plague of addiction that's destroying our country. And we lost some friends who were in this film. There some young men I was very, very close to. Jesse Ramirez, Jared Henserling, and Brent Corey. Jared Henserling's parents are here. They flew in from Texas to be here tonight. And Jesse's father is also here. He flew in from Illinois. Uh, it's hard loving an addict. Um, you think that the love of the parent is strong enough and you have control. And that's the mistake that I made. I thought I could stop it. Normal people, you know, you go to sleep, you have a nightmare, you wake up, the nightmare stops. For me, I wake up and the nightmare begins. It only stops when I go to sleep. The love in the man back there that stood up and talked about his son. To share his grief, his loss, and his sorrow so that somebody else might not have to. Just like the movie Dead Poets Society, from day one, I called him my captain. And every time I correspond with him, I always say, I love you, my captain. I loved it. I love being a part of it. Um, you know, we're from Club Oasis, and um, you know, we are the nonprofit that was being supported by this documentary. I have this feeling that the further down you go, the more you help others. This is like the second sort of event that I've been to since getting sober, and it was just nice being involved. I think Gary Kay going around and promoting the film will benefit tons of people. 